there are many organizations that are operating within the community, but we have no structured way of operating. A little bit of professionalism is lacking within uh, community development. The national government has policies, but the county government does not have policies to implement their uh, activities. CARA is a national network of resident associations. Currently, we have over 1,500 resident associations in our network, operating in over 2,000 neighborhoods. We have our members across all the 47 counties, but then majorly in urban centers. Basically, our work is to empower the resident associations to enable them advocate for better services at the neighborhood level. Kama nyumba yangu, nalipanga ngiri tatu, na ni ya mabati. Na hiyo nyumba ni kama choo. Hiyo nyumba ndiyo mbafu, ndiyo bedroom, ndiyo sitting room, <laughs> ndiyo kila kitu. Kara has been one of our very key partners in the area of community development partnership, where we work together in, in a project of developing uh, policy so that we can make sure we have a system and uh, guidelines on how we manage groups that are attached to our community development that we do programs with and we are involved in actually trying to upscale them to a different level in terms of doing the business. We've partnered with KCDF to deliver on the community development policy. One of our core mandate is policy influencing. So we support both the county and the national government to put in policies in place that can support the government of the day to deliver on its mandate and then also to promote participation of our members. As a Riani Place organization, we provide psychosocial support to orphan, vulnerable children, teenage moms and their caregivers. Since we are very big on mental health, we came in to push for the uh, for the mental health uh, support where we can get more counsellors on the ground to support us and to make sure that the Mental Health Act is implemented because we are not feeling it on the ground. Our Nairobi Community Empowerment based uh, organisation, we are touching issues on productive health, we are also touching issues on uh, PWD and also gender-based violence and giving awareness on how to address all those programs in a nutshell. So the Giving for Change program, simply put, is focusing around how can we undertake development differently? How can we be able to ensure that any development that we are undertaking is not only addressing the key issues at the community level, also addressing social justice issues, and that we are able to really ensure communities are at the center. In Nairobi County, CARA is working with county government to develop a policy on community groups, which is a critical uh, document that will enhance conducive environment for community groups. And the impact will be seen by having more community participation. And in essence, it is going to bring about social change. And this is one of the key elements and components of Giving for Change. The role of CBOs in all of this uh, spectrum is that they have been able to stand and be our go-between. They connect us to the residents out there in the informal settlements. If we want any people to participate in our events, they are able to come in. So they play a very key role as our intermediaries. With the support from KCDF, we got the funding that started this journey of developing the Community Development Policy for Nairobi County. This is a one-year project that started in November last year and it's been quite instrumental in facilitating the initial processes. Where now CARA and KCDF are helping us is now to reach out to everybody who's involved so that this policy becomes a rich policy that anybody else can be able to draw and use. Uh, we've engaged with uh, resident associations, CBOs, uh, NGOs, both at the sub-county and ward level 
to get their feedback and input on the draft policy to help improve it because these are the organizations who are acting as change agents. When uh, many of our beneficiaries come with different conditions that they are struggling with, some of them are connected to the environment they are living where it's not clean, there is no place to throw away their trash. So we, we've been trying to see how we can be able to reduce the trash around the environment and teaching them that they can take care of the environment. The Nairobi County Community Development Policy is actually for the community because they are the ones who are benefiting when we streamline issues of social economic empowerment. We realized that they operate without any order. We decided now it's best time we put together a system in terms of policy that we can be able to operate and guide these groups so that they can even achieve more. With the trainings that we've so far held, we've seen participants who are their level of awareness, their level of knowledge on community development uh, being increased. In the formulation of Nairobi Community Development Policy, we were called in a meeting which was organized by Nairobi County and CARA. We gave opinions on how best we can incorporate everyone and now narrow all these issues that we are addressing, the policy set up with everyone. After the meetings we had, we were able to still go into the community and still help them be aware of why it is important. We are envisioning where now the county will work with us now at a deeper level, that they can be able to come and we ask them we need bursaries and they are available. We need counsellors, they are available. That way it will make our work easier. We want to see this policy adopted and implemented. We want uh, resident associations, community-based organizations at the community level, at the neighborhood level, empowered to support their members, participate in development planning. Once we achieve this, we will have a structured way of working with everybody. And we will have, we are able to tap in resources. We are able to come together as collaborators within community development space. And if the final beneficiary is now community who will have socioeconomic empowerment, who will have programs which uh, are able to create employment. We are targeting giving skills to the community. This organization is Imesaidia sana sana kima somo, chakula. Yeye tunamuombea mungu wa mutoe hapo wa muweke kwa kitingine. We would appreciate if we got more support from KCDF and other partners to support in you know, completing and implementation of the, of the community development policy. So we're inviting all those who are interested, funders, partners, organizations, individuals, who really want to bring a change in how development is done to join us in taking the Giving for Change program even beyond the five years that we have.